One of my favorite things to do every fall is get out of the city for the day and go apple picking. Max had never been apple picking before. It was a cold, rainy day. We were practically the only people in the orchard, so we had the apples all to ourselves. Our bags full of Fuji's, Cortland's, Empire's, and Honeycrisp's, we headed home to put our apples to use. This week on Working Class Foodies. Caroline, I'm from New York City. My favorite food used to be bacon, but then I thought it was prosciutto. But now I think I'm on a chorizo thing. So now definitely my favorite food is chorizo. So when we were at our aunt's house for Yom Kippur last month, mm -hmm. we finally got her to hand over the recipe for this apple cake, one of our family's traditional holiday desserts. I've always loved it because it has all the flavors of fall with none of the work of an apple pie. Core and peel apples. Chop them into uniform chunks. Toss them with two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And then in another bowl, you just put two cups of flour and two cups of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, a cup of vegetable oil, and four eggs. One, two, three, and four. It's a super easy cake to make. Aside from the apples, it's all pantry items. I'm gonna put in most of these apples, not all of them, because I've got a lot more apples than I have batter. I've got about three cups of apples. Another thing that's really nice is the apples keep it moist so it doesn't dry out the next day. I've got a lot of leftover apple, but I can freeze these and make them into a pie. Pop it in a bunt pan and bake it. Or any it. cake pan, really. I spent hours slaving over this batter. So we're going to bake it at 350 for about 65 minutes or until the top is just golden brown. Melting and she didn't have a clue. A star reporter interviewed the people on the scene. He saw the mass of metal drip away. One of the locals kept his mouth ajar. It's like caramelized on top. While the Ferris wheel was melting, he was trying to park the car. And On a windy day, you're not patterning yourself oh God, as is, much as the cake. This is not working out at all. Give me this, give me this, give me this. You're too delicate. It's like really caramelized on the bottom, it's nice. This cake is, it's not just, you know, a dessert cake. You could also make this, bring it to a brunch or if you're going on like a fall picnic or something. I mean, it's really perfect for almost any situation. Right. The cake is also virtually fail proof. The apples help keep it really moist. It's not too sweet, so you can serve it for brunch or dessert. So really, it's just a really great fallback recipe. So the cost breakdown for the apple cake is we spend about $2 on apples and everything else, the flour, the sugar, the vanilla, the eggs, the vegetable oil, we had in our pantry. So really, I mean, it was a $2 cake. Plus we used like a tablespoon of powdered sugar on top. Right. So that's like, you know, 20 cents, if that. Roughly. So send in your favorite apple recipes, or better yet, your favorite traditional family recipes. 
and we'd love to feature it on our blog. Mm-hmm.